Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can tell by the title of the video, we are, I'm going to be revealing my top five halfbacks of 2020. Now, the season has only played two rounds or three rounds? Three rounds, I believe. Um, no, two rounds, sorry. Two rounds. Round three didn't go ahead. But this is what I've seen from the 2020 season, basing off the form of last year as well a little bit. But let's get into my top five halfbacks of the NRL 2020. So let's begin this with an honourable mention. There are a lot of halfbacks you can talk about uh, with honourable mentions. You could talk about Jerome Hughes. You could talk about George Williams, who is new to NRL coming from the Super League. But for me, I'm going to go with someone who I think is quite underrated, who doesn't just doesn't make my top five, and it's from the Cronulla Sharks. It is Chad Townsend. I think Chad Townsend does a lot for the Cronulla Sharks team. Uh, he definitely is a really good halves player. He's been there in that position for a while, and he's, he's, he looks good there. Um, as I said, I think he's really underrated. I think he's had his chances at origin. Uh, he does some really good kicks, which is what you should be doing as a half. In that number seven, you shouldn't always run the ball. It's more about the control, and I think that's exactly what Chad does, and that's why I've got him in this list as an honourable mention, but Chad just doesn't make my top five. Coming in at number five is the halfback for the South Sydney Rabbitohs, and it is Adam Reynolds. Now, Adam Reynolds is one of those, and I'm going to speak about a few of these, but one of those clutch players who can get the job done. Adam Reynolds' performance against the Dragons back in 2018 uh, in a... Was it a, it was a semi-final. Um, I was there, ANZ. Brilliant performance, and I think it really kicked off then into the next season. He had a great season last year. Uh, he looked a certainty for origin, but then injury struck him. Now, I think Adam Reynolds only missed two games out of the whole season. I think. There may have been one. I think it was two. Um, as I said, had a fantastic season. Great goal kicker. Um, and just really good in the halves. Looks composed, comfortable, which is what a half should look like. And Adam Reynolds, for me, is a very underrated player. I think he deserves a lot of respect. And Adam Reynolds is my number five pick in the top five halfbacks of 2020. At number four, this may piss a lot of people off, including Nick from Australia, but I have Nathan Cleary from the Penrith Panthers. Cleary has played Origin, and did he deserve the Origin jersey last year? Well, everyone was injured, so probably not. And... Uh, I, I'm going to say no, but I thought he was good. I thought he was pretty good. I think he's been good for the Penrith team for a few years now. But this year and towards the end of last year, it's gone from good to great. He's really developing into a great half, and I know a lot of people will disagree with my opinion on this. He scored a whopping four tries against the Knights in the final game of last season. He looked really good with some great kicks against the... He had a great game against Parramatta, where... Uh, it was our first loss at Bankwest Stadium, and that was the Cleary show, that game, that one. Um, he looked good against the Roosters, put in a very good performance for Penrith to beat the Roosters in round one. Nathan Cleary, for mine, is someone who's not underrated or overrated. He's just in the middle, but I don't have much against him. Um, and I think, I think he's developing into a great half. And as I've said for a while now, I think he is leading Penrith in the right direction because him and Maloney... Both two standout players, but didn't work well together. And now that it's Cleary's team, he, he looks good. Coming in at number three, I have Mitchell Moses from my team, the Parramatta Eel. Now, I think a lot of people will have Moses in first or second position. If you don't, that's okay. Uh, you might be like me and, and put him here or lower. And you might not even have him in your top five. I think Moses is one of those players who has been quite inconsistent throughout the years, and that's why I can't have him higher. However, he's really developing well, helping the Parramatta team. Some great kicks. The goal kicking and the defense for me is what is making him into a fantastic half. Um, from what I saw in the nines and even the first two games of the season, he had a great game against the Titans, an average game against the Bulldogs. Um, but his kicking game looks really good. 
I think last year, and I remember in 2020 he did a lot, when he kicks a penalty downfield, he only kicked it once remaining in the field of play, which was against the Sharks at Shark Park. But I think he looks more comfortable. Uh, he's starting to run the ball, which we don't see much from number sevens. It's more of a 5 8 job to, to run the ball, looking dangerous with that dummy pass, you know. But Moses, for mine, looks quite good. It's funny because everybody asks me if I think he'll play Origin, and I, I don't know. It's really hard to judge it based off two game. But for me, Mitchell Moses definitely deserves a spot in the top five. And for me, Mitch, you're number three. My runner-up for the halfbacks is going to be from the Newcastle Knights. It's got to be Mitchell Pearce, another one of those clutch players um, who plays a controlled game to his style. Uh, a lot of people like his combination with Ponga. I didn't prefer... I prefer Ponga at fullback rather than in the number six uh, as a 5'8". But Pearce himself looks really good, and he had a big season last year. Obviously, New South Wales Blues winning the Siri, uh, and Pierce has had opportunities to do that, and this was the first time. And I've I got, I got to admit, he looked really good in the Origin game. I like what I saw of him. I like his start to the season. I think I'm going to say about four or five tries, which is pretty good for a half. I think he scored quite a few tries last season. Uh, he had a really good game against the Cowboys. I remember watching him going, holy crap, he's really good. In this, I think there are a few struggling moments, but he is a leading half. And Mitchell Pearce, for mine, is the second best current NRL halfback. And finally, guys, in the number one spot for me is Manly Sea Eagles and Queensland captain Daly Cherry Evans. Now, Cherry Evans has been playing football for a few years now, quite a few. I believe it's, is it 2011? Maybe 2011? I, I can't remember. Um, but Cherry Evans... Got the Clive Churchill medal uh, back in the grand final where Manly lost to the Roosters, which shows how good he was in that game. But he has been getting better and better every year. I've spoken about some clutch players, but Delhi Cherry Evans is the clutch man. He is a fantastic half. Um, I think of Cherry Evans' field goal in 2018 against the Cronulla Sharks. The win against the Roosters um, on round two this year. Uh, the win against Melbourne in Melbourne. Amy Park, he plays a compo game to his style. The kicking game is fantastic. Cherry Evans can kick a 40-20. He can just do it all. Um, in my opinion, not only the best, I think he is the most dangerous half in the competition. If I was to pick a half for my team, I would have Cherry Evans, I think, in a heartbeat. I think he's an outstanding player. Now, I want to know, do you guys agree or disagree with this list? I think it will be divisive, but this is my opinion. And remember, this is as of 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.